So if you work on any kind of vehicles, cars, trailers, uh, pretty much anything electrical with automotive industry, you probably have one of these little guys. And this guy's been great, but it's time to move up into the future. So guess what we got today? We got the Ansel Vehicle Circuit Probe, and this is the model PB50. Uh, this does, uh, you can test trailer lights, you can trust your electronics on your car, you can activate items on your car. It does battery tests, voltage, current, resistance, diode test, uh, test AC and DC, and the voltage range is between 8 and 35. So this works on eight, uh, 12 and 24 uh, volt vehicles. So if you have a, a boat that's 24 volt, uh, you can do it on there. Uh, it has a built-in headlight so you can see where you're, what you're doing in the dark or what you're testing in the dark. And like I said, this can activate components because it has a switch on here and it'll let you put voltage to it. So if you're testing out, say, your car window, uh, want to see if it goes up and down, the switch is bad, you can apply power and it should go up and down and that'll kind of help troubleshoot that. So what you get in the box is you're going to get the manual. Read the manual. Definitely worth it. It's uh, nice and short, very concise, uh, but it kind of explains all the neat features, how to switch modes and things like that, and how to do some simple testing. Uh, pretty much straightforward, but definitely worth worth reading. You can see it does, uh, it'll show you different uh, graphs and things like that for your voltage. And it can do continuity tests, and that's another kind of cool feature on this guy. Of course, you're going to get the uh, logic probe, and the cables are connected to it, and it does come with a little... The probe is detachable, so if you do break that, you can get a new one. And it is nice and sharp, so it'll get into nice little tight spots. I always keep the little cap on there just because. And as you can see, it's got a nice LCD display. And this up and down button, you can apply power to the device that you're testing. So if the, the device is, doesn't have power, hit the button, and you're going to apply your 12 volt to it. Uh, this button right here, this will switch between the modes. You can switch between uh, uh, continuity and uh, voltage testing and diode tests and uh, resistant tests through this, through the menu. And I'll kind of show you that as we power up, but uh, really nice. This feature right here, definitely worth the price on this guy because, like I said, you can be probing something that doesn't have power. You can apply power to it and test to see if it's the motor's bad or you're just not getting current, you know, that, those kind of things. And it comes with a nice little alligator clips. So these you clip onto your battery. And then the lead down here, this is for continuity. You can connect to that and test for continuity to the uh, component that you're kind of right by. So really nice. It's very nice, lightweight. Actually, it's kind of a nice, very hard plastic. So this thing's going to last a long time. And you can see right here, here's the little headlights for it, the little, little LEDs. So that's kind of a nice, nice feature to have that. So when you're in the dark, you can kind of see what you're doing. So I tell you what, let's take this out. And we're going to do some little bit of testing on the car just to test it out for you. And I think you're going to be impressed with this display. This this thing is definitely worth a, every price that you pay for it. Okay, so we're out here with the probe. And the first thing you want to do is you want to hook up the positive and negative clips here to your battery. You see your red's positive. And black is the negative. And you'll see the probe will turn on here. And there are a couple different features. Uh, this is DC. And if you hit the red button, it'll go to AC, resistance, and one more time, a diode test. And we're gonna do DC right here. And the other feature I was gonna show you is this up and down button. You'll see up here there's a plus and a minus. If you hit up, this will apply a 12 volt down ground. And what's nice about this, if you wanna test a device, say a motor or a fan, you can apply 12 volt to it, test out the device. So it's kinda of neat to be able to do that. And it does have headlights. So two little, little LEDs on here. So we'll take off the little tip. And I'll kinda of just show you a few little things. If you hit the positive terminal, you see it gets 12 volt. And that'll be the ground so and I do have a little uh, test port here I'm going to open that up you can kind of see I just probe around here there's 4.6 volts ground 12 volts 2 volts ground let's see there's any other ports here 12 volts. So that's basically how you use it. Just kind of probe around to find out what kind of voltages you have. But like I said, you want to do AC resistance testing nice for uh, wires and a diode. So you can do that also. Very nice. Very simple. Easy to use. I like that the headlights on it, especially when you're under the dash or under here in the dark. It's kind of nice to be able to see what you're, what you're probing. 
So really, really nice, very helpful device. And there you go. That's the Ansel PB50. And I tell you what, this guy is going to save me a lot of time and trouble. Uh, definitely worth the money because uh, uh, time is money and the less time you're spending uh, diagnosing problems, this is definitely the way to go. And this is, this is the future of uh, probe testers, uh, just being able to see uh, other things other than if do you have the power or not. Uh, definitely check it out, especially like I said, if you work on trailers, you work on cars, you work on trucks, you work on boats, or work on snowmobiles, anything that has a 12 or 24 volt system, definitely worth it.